Latex is a common cause of severe allergic reactions, also called anaphylaxis. Natural latex is a rubber product made from plant sap. It is commonly found in gloves, condoms, diaphragms, and dental dams, adhesive bandages, medical equipment such as stethoscopes and blood pressure cuffs, syringes, surgical masks, elastic bands, elastic and underwear, and party balloons. If you have a latex allergy, only use latex-free versions of these products. Latex is often found in medical settings. Even just the powder used in some latex products can carry latex particles into the air. So always tell your healthcare providers about your latex allergy, as most clinics and hospitals have latex-free alternatives. Some people who have a latex allergy can also be allergic to banana, avocado, kiwi, or chestnuts. If you have a latex allergy, talk to your doctor about allergic reactions to some fruits or vegetables. Prescription and non-prescription medication are also a common cause of anaphylaxis. Most reactions are mild, such as hives or itching. But some reactions can be life-threatening. The most common drug allergies are penicillin and related antibiotics. Other allergy-causing drugs include aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, sulfa antibiotics, insulin, especially those from animal sources, anticonvulsants, and local anesthetics such as Novocaine. Report any drug reactions to your doctor so they can begin figuring out if your symptoms are a side effect or an allergy. Tell your healthcare providers about your drug allergy, including your doctor, nurse, dentist, pharmacist, and anybody who treats you in a hospital or clinic. Predicting severe allergic reactions isn't always possible, but being prepared can be. Make sure you always have easy access to an EpiPen auto-injector. Keep EpiPen in your bag or EpiPen carrier and bring it with you wherever you go, including work, school or daycare, friends or relatives' homes, the cottage or camp. For more information about severe allergic reactions and EpiPen, talk to your doctor or pharmacist, or visit epipen.ca.